Hi guys, Fohar 2003, part of TGN, back again with a, well it's not really a view, it's kind of what is Defiance, the game obviously it's come out and um, there's a lot of hype about it. So, firstly I guess it's a MMO and a third person shooter quest type game which is definitely heavily focused on the MMO aspect. It's also a tri-media effort. So that means that not only is it just the game, but there's also a TV show that's going to be running concurrently, which starts middle of the month, uh, this April, and the two are going to be linked. So basically what happens on the TV show gets ported into the game, and vice versa, the, the way the curvature of the game also gets uh, put into the TV series. Um, so they're very much in interlinked to provide a deeper experience for the player, uh, much more immersive. Where and how the, the flow of the game has an effect on the TV show and, and vice versa. We'll have to see how that goes, I guess. Um, time will tell. Personally, I don't know if I'm going to watch a TV show because I'm not that into into the concept enough to, to you know spend my time watching TV shows as well as. Although I might give it a go and, and see if it adds more depth to it. So uh, what can you expect from the actual game itself? Well, it's a huge world that is an, an open world of choices which have missions and quests for you to undertake be that mini mini quests so you can drive from A to B go through checkpoint markers um, within a certain time to beat other leaderboard scores you can undertake missions you can, while travelling you can also you know you can stop off and, and help uh, people who are pinned down uh, with enemies you can assist with missions you can follow the main quest of missions so there is there is a campaign element to the game which you can follow and and progress that way of, of course as an MMO XP and gaining skills and perks are at the very core of the game earning and collecting weapons skills and things like that and then ranking those up as well is a big part of advancing in the game and becoming uh, and developing your character and becoming a hardened character within the game it's a constantly changing environment that contains a variety of scenes mixed with the campaign style as I mentioned before with the base missions you can go through in order to progress your character now I personally didn't find or don't find currently that the storyline and plot is heavy enough or that intriguing to really want to follow it or, or care about it that much um, you really would just want to develop your character and see what skills you can develop and interaction with other players in the world you can either play in a cooperative kind of mode or competitive now cooperative is say if you get if you're doing a mission and you get an end of level boss for example or end of mission boss who's hard to take down you'll all work together to take that person down uh, likewise, in competitive, you can fight against each other in more of a traditional third-person shooter type scenario where you're battling against each other or A versus B, for example. I would say that if you do try the game, don't expect to get straight into it. There is um, a massive wait to get started. I always install my games prior to playing them, so I did that, loaded up the game, and was faced with 15 minutes of further installing which was slightly annoying okay I thought that that's fine it made me a bit late for work because I was hoping to have a quick 10 minute bash before going to work yesterday but it didn't happen anyway so I got home uh, long story short loaded up again thinking it's all installed now um, faced with a huge download so that was another 10 minutes of downloading a further 5 minutes of installing I thought okay that's brilliant I'll start the game now no there's further patch installing, patch downloading, and further installing again. So you're probably looking at about 45 minutes, depending on your connection speed, of downloading and installing before you actually get into the game um, to start with. Of course, it's to be expected, and it's good to see that they're patching the game and that it's you know it's being kept current and they're fixing bugs and things like that. But it can be a bit of a bind if you just want to get into the game and start playing. Without a network connection, forget it. You can't get anywhere. You can't get past the first menu. It won't let you load it up. The only other real gripe I've had so far is uh, when the servers have gone down, which happened to me yesterday, on release day, which left me unable to play for about an hour, which on day one is understandable, but it's a poor error on a release day when you've had five years of development gone into a game. The beta should have ironed out these creases in my opinion, uh, unfortunately. Uh, these hiccups happen and, um, you know, so therefore I was un found myself unable to play for a while. I guess that frustration is compounded when you're halfway through a mission like I was um, only to suddenly be kicked out and lose all your progress for that entire mission due to server downtime. So anyway, yes, um, I mean, 
That said, the world is impressively big and details. Graphics are not amazing, but then they're not too bad either, and the game quite rightly focuses on the core gameplay rather than a tight soundtrack and visuals to pull you in. Instead it's a co-op or competitive gameplay and level up basis so that the game will keep you coming back for more. And I think over time it may achieve that, but in the first 24 hours of playing it I have found myself kind of a little bit bored at, at the um, rinse and repeat kind of missions where they, they seem a little bit samey. And there's not enough development in the character as a whole as of yet. The success of the game all hinges on its ability to engage enough players to keep the world heavily occupied. And in all honesty, I believe that it will succeed to do that, providing there's enough players that keep coming back. This is a title? No. More of an idea that is vastly ambitious in its complexity. Running a TV show and video game that spans PC and consoles alongside each other, and keeping everyone entertained and happy is no easy thing. But despite a few issues to start with, Tryon have done an amazing job to get this launched. I'm excited to see where this goes and how interesting the TV show is to immerse a player even further into the game, and whether it succeeds overall. Hopefully this has helped you decide whether the game is for you or not. It's certainly a worthwhile experience as far as I'm concerned, and while this isn't a review, I'll certainly recommend it. Anyway, thanks again guys, and uh, I hope that helped you understand a little bit more about what the, uh, the game Defiance is about. See you again. Yeah.